Well, it's a beautiful spring day. We're with Jan. We're out in the garden. And Jan, there's definitely some things we need to be doing in our garden this time. There here. are. The other day I noticed that my rhubarb is bolting. And uh, that's not unusual at all. And what happens in the spring is that uh, sometimes we'll have some warmer days and it tells the, the plant that to go to seed because the summer's over. Um, and so what I do is I just snap them off. The other thing is that um, some varieties are more apt to bolt than others. Like I've got two that are here that'll bolt and one that doesn't bolt at all. Right, so even um, though it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty looking flower, yeah. but we wouldn't want to remove that. Yeah, I hear some that I've already removed. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, you could just remove it. If you don't remove it, that's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna kill the plant, but it's gonna reduce the vigor of the plant. Right, it's sending so all that energy out to keep it the watered rhubarb. and enjoy the rhubarb. And then we've also talked in the past about soil temperatures, and it's still, you know, even though it's, it's sunny and warm out, we still need to be watching our soil temperatures. Right, just because you don't need a jacket doesn't mean the soil is that warm. Uh, so just check your soil temperatures. As we talked about last time, the, the soil temperatures uh, for germination are on the packages of seed. Uh, so make sure you look at that. Right, because our nighttime temperatures are still, still absolutely, pretty, pretty cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And there check. are some cool season crops you can plant now. Right. You know, and as we're getting a lot of things in our garden, you know, slugs are always, always an issue. They but they're are. They're not necessarily coming in, you know, from our yards, but they can come in from other sources. Yeah, make sure that when you, even the best nursery that with the best sanitation, it just, it's really hard to keep slugs out of everything. And so when you bring something home, uh, just check the bottom of the pot, maybe even take the plant out and just check the bottom of the roots uh, and make sure you're not bringing any slugs in the house. Yeah, because they're tiny. They'll, they'll yeah. hide up in those little, little right, drainage holes. Right, right, they will. You know, now our, our, our you know, azaleas and our rhodes are starting to bloom. I've noticed on some of mine at, at home that the leaves tend to have like a lot of little spotting. Last their, year's do. Yeah. Yeah, right now what I'm seeing on mine are last year's leaves are stippled and have all the chlorophyll sucked out of them from lace bug. Right. And there's a rhododendron lace bug and a azalea lace bug. Um, on my Facebook page, I put a, 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 a publication from OSU that can give you all the differences and I'm sure you can get it off of the Garden Time site too. Right. But the new growth is coming up now and it's not bothered by them yet, but watch it and see to make sure that you uh, take care of it if you need to, and there's cultural and chemical controls. Good for that. You know, and a lace bug is different than a lace wing. Yes, a lace wing, lace bug is a little tiny, tiny thing that you can see through on the underside of the leaf. A lace wing is a uh, neon green, real beautiful wings that you see more in warm summer nights, and they're a beneficial insect that right. their larva eats aphids, and so uh, there's a lot of difference so between two the two. Two definitely different, different insects that we want. Absolutely. Uh, one we want, the other we don't. Right. <laughs> and so let's go down to the, uh, the greenhouse because we have a couple other tips that we want to okay. check Okay, you can do it. So now we're back down in the greenhouse and you know people this time of year, we're all getting our gardens ready. We've either seeded our own or we're buying starts in, right. the, in the greenhouses. And it looks like, you know, some of these come, you know, with multiple in a pack. Yep, they do. So should we plant them just like this, or is it better to pull them apart? Either way, if it's easy enough to pull them, tease them apart a little bit, and you still have roots on both of them, you can plant them both. Plant them. And what I've done out and back this year is I put a hoop over the top of the raised bed and uh, some row cover over it, and I threw some slug bait in there to get them to, before I before plant the lettuce. Plant them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Which is always a good idea. Yeah, for sure. And then you sure. have a little insulator handle yeah. there. Um, just just pipe wrap you can do on garden handles, just okay. rakes. Because right, sometimes when your you know your hands are kind of sore, yeah. a little arthritic is kind it's of hard to hold on to the handles. It makes it easier on you. Easier. And then the last thing we have here is the lemon. So I cut it back some more, and it's got tons of blossoms on it. So we'll just keep checking it. Right. So those are all, all going to be the be the fruit for later. Right. Those are the, those are the blossoms. So right. Jan, you know it's a busy time of year to be in the garden, so it's great to have all of these tips. You know, some more information on the tips with Jan, you can go to the gardentime.tv website and we'll click you over to Jan's page or you can get more information there. So Jan, it's always a pleasure to be in the garden. See it's you beautiful next weather time. and we're looking forward to gardening. Yeah. So thank you.